from this diagram we can see that there is filament and the filament hit the cathodes the cathode will release electron and then the electron is accelerated by the anode and form the cathode ray and uh, the cathode ray will hit on the fluorescent screen and uh, produce a, a bright spots on the screen here so this is the design so there are a few questions eh? five to ten minutes eh, to do this okay those you don't know how to do for example e eh? okay i think you can skip e okay because i i think so far i haven't discussed these types of questions with you yet okay so let's see the answer question one eh? state two characteristics of cathode ray so cathode ray you can say for the characteristics eh? So for the characteristics, you can say it can, uh, can be deflected by electric field. Okay, can be deflected by electric field or uh, can be deflected by magnetic field. So these are the two characteristics. That, okay, you can also say it can cause fluorescence effect. Uh, can cause fluorescent effect. So these are the three characteristics of cathode ray. Eh? Uh, B, given that the functions of the filament is to heat the cathode ray so that it releases electrons eh, uh, on its surface, state the name of this process. Okay, so what's the name of this process? You heat the cathodes and then you release electrons. So what's the name of this process? This is called thermionic emission. Eh? Okay, thermionic emissions. So you see, you heat the filament, it releases electrons. This is called thermionic emissions. Okay, B2. Uh, state three factors that affect the rate of release of electrons at cathodes. Uh. Uh, the three factors are first, temperature. So higher temperature, higher rate. Uh. Second one is the types of metal. And the third one is material coated the metal. So coat with certain materials that uh, can increase the rate of release of electrons. Eh? C. State the functions of the A node. So what's the functions of the A node? To accelerate electron. Yes, the correct answer is to accelerate. To accelerate electrons. Eh? Okay then D. Uh, state the energy changes experienced by uh, the electrons from A node to the screen. Okay, what do you all think? Surface area for C B two or yes, surface area, size of surface area. Okay. For D, state the energy changes. Okay. First of all, we use this uh, electric potentials to attract, uh, to accelerate the electrons. Uh, so that is from electrical energy to kinetic energy, electrical energy to kinetic energy. Uh, so we use because we use electric potential to ex, uh, accelerate the electron we make the electron move faster so we increase the kinetic energy electrical to kinetic energy and uh, when the electron heat on the screen okay the kinetic energy change to light energy yeah? and at the same time heat also generated so it's light and heat uh, energy so the changes of the energy is from electricals to kinetic and then from kinetics to light and heat okay because they want you to state uh, from a node to the screen eh? a node to the screen so you must include all three eh? all three so electrical to kinetic kinetics to light okay electrical to light cannot eh? okay or just uh, so you must tell it's all three electrical to kinetic kinetics to light and heat the voltage between the cathode and a node is uh, three kilowatt the charge of the electron is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 Coulomb. Calculate the kinetic energy possessed by an electron as it reaches the A node. The kinetic energy okay, is come from the electrical energy. Yeah? So we assume that all the electrical energy converted to the kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy will be equal to the electrical energy because the kinetic energy come from the electrical energy okay so if we have 100 joules of electrical energy this will be converted to 100 joules of kinetic energy yeah? so the amount of kinetic energy is equal to the amount of electrical energy what's the formula for electrical energy uh, electrical energy is equals to qv yeah? qv qv 
And in this case, the Q is a charge. Okay, in this case, the charge is the charge of electron, so you can use EV. Yeah, EV. E the is denoted. E is denotes the charge of one electron. Yeah? Charge of one electron. So uh, we use QV or EV. The E is uh, one point six times ten to the power of negative nineteen. Okay, and V is the voltage three thousand. So what's the answer? 4.8 times 10 to the power of negative 16 Joule. Okay, so this is to find the uh, kinetic energy. Yeah? To find the kinetic energy. Sometime, sometimes uh, you may be asked to find the uh, speed. Yeah? Speed, okay. So if you're asked to find the speed, then uh, you can find the speed from this. Uh, the kinetic energy equals to half mv square okay and usually the mass will be given uh, the mass of electron will be given so so if you know the kinetic energy okay which is this one uh, kinetic energy uh can be calculated by using ev uh, so ev so you can write ev equals to half mv square now this v this capital letter v is uh, potential energy uh, so this is potential energy but this small v is speed uh, so we can use this one this to find the speed of electrons Provided that you know the uh, charge of electron and the mass of electron. Usually this will be given. Eh? This will be given. So that is for E.